and we summed up all those small contributions. You understand? From here, from here, from here, from here. And I do this for the whole surface. I add them. That's my total B dot A. That is the flux. Here, you see the area vector got changed though the direction of the B was the same. But the worst case scenario was here. Here B is also changing. A is also changing. So what do I do? I keep on taking smaller areas, I keep on doing the same thing. Fine, whatever is your direction in whatever way you change, I will take a small thing, find out B dot A there, shift. Find out B dot A there, shift. I will do it for infinite, infinite points. Then you will say, what do you mean, how do I do infinite points? How do I sum them up? There are mathematical ways of summing them up provided you give some geometrical shape to me for your for your surface and you tell me some equation that satisfies this B. I will be able to do that. That is the whole domain of maths. That is what whole of maths has come and stood behind physics. You understand? That is the reason maths plays such a great important role in understanding physics. So the integrals that we are being taught, that is not for solving integrals, that is for solving actually this. Hold that very clearly in your mind. It is not just to kind of trick you, fool you. Hmm? At times you will feel they are giving you such, hmm? such functions, root tan x dx. You, you, that, that, that kind of feels as if it is to fool you. It is not. The actual reason why you are being taught integrals is to calculate this, this kind of thing, the real life situation. Okay. So, so do we understand what magnetic flux is and why it has been defined in this manner? This. So, this is what Faraday did before he went ahead and objectified his experiment. And after all this, it will feel as if that, oh, it is such a simple thing, why, why should he be uh, going into such lengths for explaining it. But that was required, believe me. Fine? Fine? Do we understand? Now I will come to the Faraday's actual, the actual Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. 